Hey, Shug. Welcome back to Nisi Girl Tarot. So we're here to do Capricorn's reading for the second half of November. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign Capricorns. Now, if this reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it fit. I do advise that you check your other placements. I'm sure one of them will. Okay, Capricorn. Let's see. Again, again, energy is fluid, so um, it can flip flop and reverse, as well as gender is not specific. Okay, Capricorn. Here we go. Your overall energy, the Empress. Okay, this is Taurus and Libra energy. Okay, with the Ten of Pentacles right behind that. Okay, so we're talking about like oh, and the Ace of Coins. Yeah. So we're talking about like an opportunity for like a long-term commitment or some type of big money opportunity. All right. What's your energy in the second half of November? Page of Swords. Listen. <laughs> no, seriously. Seriously. This is not a joke. This card has come out in this place for every Earth sign I'm reading today. It's like the Earth signs are like trying to figure something out. Okay, like period. Like, I'm, you know, figuring something out. Maybe you guys are awakening, okay? Because that's the energy that was given, okay, in all of the earth sign readings. What happened in the recent past? Four of Wands, okay? So this is about commitment, celebration, home. Four of Wands is a structure, okay? Marriage, relationship. Could have been a wedding, okay? What are you thinking about? The Knight of Coins, okay? Um, slow and steady. You're thinking about how to move forward, but you're taking your time doing it, okay? You're thinking about movement, but steady movement, okay? Why? The Hermit. You've been thinking a whole lot, okay? So Virgo energy. You've been soul searching, Figuring something out with that page of source energy. Okay. Maybe in reference to finances and, and movement and abundance. Okay. Immediate future. The five of wands. Okay. This is conflict. This is um, interference. This is being at odds. Okay. What's the advice? Two of swords. Okay. So the two of swords is a avoidance energy, like a decision needing to be made and like someone like not knowing what decision to make, avoiding a decision. Um, I'm going to clarify and see. Okay, let's see. Four Capricorn, second half of November. Four Capricorn in the second half of November. Ready? Okay. So your overall energy is the Empress. Taurus and Libra energy. Why is the Empress here for Capricorn? Second half of November as the overall energy. Please make it clear. Why is the Empress here? Okay. Two of Pentacles. Okay. With the Nine of Cups on the bottom. The Two of Pentacles is juggling. Okay. It kind of gives off like the energy of the two of swords, which kind of says like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Okay, with the nine of cups and the emperor, it's like, which opportunity to take, you know, like which way to go. Okay, nine of cups is wishes being fulfilled, your personal desires. Okay, and the emperor is um, being in control. It's like, which way to go? Like, should I, you know, go after what I want? Why is the Empress here? Okay. okay. Three of Cups. This is holding. Yeah, it's holding back. I was going to say, hold, it's, so the Four of Pentacles is holding back or holding on to. So you got to look at the cards around it to see if it's more of a holding back energy or holding on. It's definitely holding back because of the Knight of Pentacles, which is what you're thinking about as well. It's like slow moving stagnating energy like nothing isn't moving all right especially with that hangman there okay is this can be like you realizing that something isn't moving or awakening to the fact that you know 
you desire something, but you're not moving towards it, that you're holding back because you're someone is definitely holding back from coming together. Okay. With what might be a wish fulfilled. Empress. Okay. Yeah. You could even just be like in hermit mode with this hermit energy and just kind of holding yourself back from like even like being around family, friends, okay? Because that Three of Cups energy represents that as well, okay? King of Cups, all right? Someone that has a lot of love but doesn't necessarily express it, okay? Holding back from communicating your desires maybe with the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Knight of Cups behind that. Yeah. It's giving the energy of someone that is juggling between like their heart and their mind. Okay. Because the King of Cups energy is someone with a lot of emotion, a lot of love, um, and generally, you know, leads with their hearts. Okay. But with the juggling or the two of pentacles energy, I feel like someone is kind of like at a crossroads. Yeah, look, and then as soon as I said it, <laughs> okay? Yeah, because king of swords energy, okay? So the heart is, you know, king of cups energy, but the mind, king of swords. It's like someone is at odds between how they feel and how they think, okay? And with the five of swords, I mean, five of cups being here, this is about regret, all right? Yeah, having the strength and the courage to like deal with a situation, to make a decision, all right yeah okay yeah because someone doesn't want to make a decision that they regret or maybe someone does did make a decision or does make a decision no did did make a decision that they regret okay i feel like doesn't want to okay why is the page of swords here as your energy in the first and second half of november for capricorn why is the page of swords here Okay, yeah. Temperance on the bottom, Sagittarian energy. We have that two of swords, okay? Someone that is avoiding a decision. Avoiding or don't know what decision to make, okay? Could be in reference to another earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or another Capricorn, okay? But this is someone with the Queen of Pentacles energy, someone that is like stable. She's just a nurturing queen. She's the queen that helps and supports everyone, Okay. With the Temperance being here and the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords, I feel like someone took some time to work on themselves with this Hermit energy because the number eight means working on self or the number of self, okay? And with this Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords, I feel like someone had to like rebalance themselves or work on themselves in order to like make a decision, okay? So with this Page of Swords energy, it's like someone is figuring out or realizing what decision to make okay yeah because with the hanging man energy this is like seeing things from a new perspective awakening okay awakening realizing something that with the ten of cups you know they might yeah they want the ten of cups someone wants happily ever after all right but there's conflict around having a new beginning five of wands around this the ace of wands okay let's see Because in the recent past, we have the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here for Capricorn in the recent past? Seems like Earth signs are kind of going through very similar situations. Get the Four of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. So the Four of Cups is like dissatisfaction. It's rejecting. Okay, it's pushing something away. Okay. Yeah. With the Page of Pentacles, the Emperor. Right? It could be done from Aries there. But definitely, I feel like someone was very uh, maybe dissatisfied in a, in a connection or in a home situation or in a relationship. Okay. And maybe wanted to like start a new opportunity or... Communicate that they wanted something. Okay, I see four of wands for Capricorn. Yeah, three of pentacles. Three of pentacles. Yeah, yeah. 
It was like someone might have pushed a situation away or pushed an opportunity for a commitment away with the Four of Cups energy um, because they weren't sure if they wanted to like build something or to like maybe work on it or, you know, didn't know how it was going to work. Okay. With the Seven of Cups energy. Okay. Like not sure. Okay. Definitely not sure with that Two of Swords energy and that Two of Pentacles energy. Someone is definitely like on the fence. Okay. So someone could have pushed away a connection in a recent past. All right. And with this Page of Wands, maybe someone in a recent past just didn't have the courage or the strength to say that. Okay. To communicate what it is that they wanted or desired. Okay. All right. Well, what are you thinking about? Knight of Coins. Why is the Knight of Coins here as what Capricorn is thinking about? Okay. The moon. Okay. It's like maybe you want to take action towards something, Capricorn. Um, but with this moon energy being here, there's a lot of fear. Okay. It's like fear of the unknown. Okay. So with the Knight of Coins energy, that's slow moving. Slow moving change slow moving towards change it can even be not moving at all okay with the eight of pinnacles here and the hermit okay it's like someone is working on like i'm working on it i'm trying i'm working on it all right um but it's like with the hermit energy being it it's like not making any movements why is the knight of coins here for capricorn it's out of fear why is the knight of coins here for capricorn Yeah. You have the five of cups and the four swords with the sun. Okay. Yeah. And you see the empress as well. It's like someone definitely has some regret. They're thinking about the regret from the past. Okay. Maybe regretting having fear, okay? Maybe not moving, okay? Because with this strength card here, this Leo energy, um, it's like someone is gathering the strength to come out of this like overthinking energy. This is the eight of swords energy. So this is someone that, um, you know, self-imposed restriction is someone that creates obstacles when there really aren't any, okay? Um, so it's like they're trying to gather the courage to like, you know, work on themselves and to like come out of that energy of like, self-imposed restriction okay yeah because with the seven of swords this is someone that is not being honest okay not being honest but also i feel like not trusting A decision or a judgment here with the judgment energy. There's definitely like trust issues here. Okay. We have the emperor. It's like maybe someone doesn't trust that they can make that decision. That they. So that fear. It's like someone doesn't trust their abilities. With the strength card being here and the emperor, that's like definitely energies of courage and strength. It's like someone doesn't trust that they'll be able to like create some type of change. Okay. With that regret being here, that five of cups and maybe even needing to heal from past regret. It's like someone doesn't trust their ability. Okay. So with the hermit energy being here as the why... Why is the Hermit energy here for Capricorn in second half of November? <laughs> yeah, because while you were soul searching, Capricorn, okay? Yeah, Page of Swords, you realize something. That same Page of Swords you're in, your, your energy is in here in the second half of November, okay? Yeah, you're realizing something about the past, okay? With the Six of Cups energy. Okay, you can also be realizing like, yeah, that there's something 
from your past that might need to come to an end here with the death energy, okay? In order for you to take a leap of faith towards, you know, change with the world card, okay? And to have a new beginning with the Ace of Wands, okay? Hermit. Hermit for Capricorn. Yeah, death card came out. Yeah. Something has to end in order for you to gain happiness. Okay? In order for you to be happy. Okay? And take the steps towards what it is that you want. Nine of Cups. Okay? All right. So in the immediate future, you have the Five of Wands. Some type of conflict or um, odds. Why is the Five of Wands here in the immediate future for Capricorn? Five of Wands for Capricorn. Okay. The High Priestess. Okay. So it's about secrets. That's about um, the intuition. Right? The Queen of Cups and the Ace of Swords. Okay, and the Ten of Wands. I feel like either you've learned something about someone that causes some type of like a uh, conflict. Okay. But with this Six of Swords, it like opens the door for you to move forward. Okay. With the full energy here and in the cycle with that Queen of Cups. Okay. So there's some type of conflict in the immediate future because someone learns some information that opens the door for you to like move forward. Okay. Some type of information comes out. Okay. With the Hermit here and the Four of Wands. Yeah. Someone has been holding on to. Maybe a family structure or a home. Okay. And maybe some type of like manipulation because the five of swords can also be manipulation. Five of wands. The five of swords can also be manipulation um, that like kept someone stuck. Yeah. With the knight of pentacles. Okay. Like definitely. Some type of like secret or something comes out, causes conflict in the immediate future, but it opens the door for you to move forward. Okay. So your advice is the two of swords. <laughs> okay. All right. Why is the two of swords here as the advice for Capricorn? So you get a way out because we see here is like someone just feels like they can't, like I can't, I don't, I don't have the power. Okay. With the king of pentacles here, that's your energy. Um, feeling left out in the cold and ready to move forward. Okay. Yeah. Why is the two of swords here? Okay. Their advice is to say like, with the two of swords being your advice, spirit is like, you need to make a decision. Two of swords. Yeah. Yeah. To go towards your desires with the star card. Okay. Because the four of pentacles, you're holding back or holding on to. A commitment that you might regret, okay, with the Five of Cups. Okay, you might regret the path that you're choosing here with the Two of Wands, okay? So that's what I have for you, Shug. I hope this helped, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I wish you guys already. Bye!